Hello, Taurus. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. All right, so Taurus, it looks like when I was shuffling off camera for you, uh, hold on, let's say prayer. Thank you, God, for blessing Taurus with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so when I was shuffling off camera for you, um, it looks like somebody wants you back, but they want you back for all the wrong reasons. Whatever relationship this is or was, it was it was stuck. It was toxic. The cards are asking you to go it alone at this time. You don't need to be coupled or you don't need to reconcile with someone. You don't need to come back to them or allow them to come back to you. Um, there's going to be no concession. So this person is going to be like you're not going to take less than what you deserve so this person is going to try to be dominating they're going to try to dominate you maybe in by what they say um they're going to try to come at you with reason you know try to put things together real slick for you um be careful of that. Let's see what's going on here for you, Taurus. What's happening? Okay. Uh, Ace of Wands. So, yeah, it's like somebody wants to come back by way of... Um, they're motivated. Question their motivation here. A question in someone's motivation with the Ace of Wands. Because... um. Yeah, this is seduction. The art of seduction here. With the Ace of Wands. Oh, question is for yeah, judgment. Why do they want you to forgive them? Make a quick, fast judgment about reconciling, coming back together. Why do they want forgiveness without making any sacrifice so quickly? Why did they want you to you know clear their slate? You know forgive them of all of their wrongdoing and their trespasses against you you gotta question this person's motivation you have a star card i think they look up to you this is also somebody wanting to come to you and give you give you that wop that that wand that sex that whatever just to get you back get you back hooked this could be a masculine energy. This is a person who's all in the energy of self, self-centeredness. This is somebody who wants a carefree, fun connection. They want to have playful, you know, activity with you. They want to be playful with you. This is somebody who's not going to take the relationship serious, not taking the relationship serious. You guys have a child together, children together. I don't know. Queen of Swords. Yeah, the cards are asking you to. You know, if you really want newness, you're going to have to cut off the old. You can't take it with you. You can't take even a little piece of this old with you. Like, well, you know, I do like talking to him. You can't even do that. You got to really be the queen of swords. She rightfully divides the old life from the new life. Which one are you choosing? To choose life today. Queen of swords. Um, get counsel. Before you cut off a loved one. But I think you already know what you should be doing. Um, hear somebody out. But listen carefully. The King of Cups. This is somebody who has a plural love. Not a singular one. So they got more than one love. For more than one person. They have the capacity to deal with several different personalities. People at the same time. It doesn't phase them. It doesn't bother them They're the king of balance balance of emotion so they know which emotion to draw from here there this is somebody who keeps exes around just to feed the ego this could be a male libra cancer pisces scorpio um let me see what else is going on here for taurus the full card this is somebody definitely with the two cups somebody just wants a carefree no strings attached fun relationship they may even feel like you're the one but they don't know where the relationship is going nor do they have any plans for it they just know that 
at this point you guys need to reconcile your differences so what they want you to do is look over give account for what has happened in the past you need to reconcile it with yourself you need to make it feel good within you you need to get over it you need to let bygones be bygones and then we can come back together and that's what this energy is saying here it's not that we're, we're reconciling in terms of of um, the bible says for true reconciliation is confessing your shortcomings to one another so this is if if you and i Taurus, were in a relationship i would say well you know i'm not good at x y and z in a relationship and then you would say well i'm not good at you know and then we would just you know have that dialogue where we're being vulnerable with one another Therefore, that's going to be true reconciliation because we're being vulnerable and we're confessing to one another our shortcomings. You're not getting this from this person. They want you to reconcile within you why you should allow them to come back. Dealing with an extremely selfish person. Let's see what's going on here. Question their motive. We had that initially. Knight of Wands. Yeah, this, this is a person who's going to stick around long enough to get what they want then they're out. People say the Knight of Wands is in and out. Yeah, but they stick around long enough to get what they want, though. And that's why you believe in them. And that's why they're so successful. Keep in mind the Knights are on quest or conquest. If you are a king, you send your Knight out to, you say, Knight Taurus. Go and retrieve that fair maiden lady from the far, far away land. And the Knight is that's his duty so he's going to go and do that he's not going to come back to the king empty-handed so imagine that type of energy coming towards you they're not going to leave you without getting what they came for they're not gonna leave empty-handed okay because they're on conquest that's what the knights are doing they're they're conquering so they need to conquer yeah the cards are asking you to be the nine of pentacles you need to be single at this time you need to close down a wound or the wop let it go. Take some time to yourself. Pick up a book. Learn about spirituality. It says that you're at a place where you can. King of Swords, you need to get under some some mentorship. Uh, this is my therapist, counselor, somebody who can give you great advice. You know, you need to pivot. I think you're too focused. You're a fixed energy, so you're too focused. You need to pivot and change your mind. Yeah. This is what I have for you, Taurus. I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book your own reading there, ask 20 questions below by texting it to the number below. Um, come to my lives every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night and ask questions um, and come for the collective reading. Thank you, Taurus. Many blessings to you. Take care.